What's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to a new video. Today we're going to be talking so much about NBA 2K20 gameplay. Now check this out. The devs are officially active. If anybody has any questions for any dev, make sure you leave them in the comment section right now. I will relay them to any dev that I see active on Twitter. So basically last night, all the devs are just tweeting out these random memes. Oh, wait, before I get into that, 5,000 likes. See, see the wave? See the wave? Make sure you guys hit that like button, but let's get back into the info. So check it out. Last night, the devs were just tweeting memes like crazy, just going crazy. And the only dev that didn't tweet anything was Mike Wayne. So I was like, all right, what's going on? Why are all the devs just tweeting out these random things? So everybody like, get ready. Tomorrow's going to be the day. It's about to be insane, all the hardcore fans. And I'm like, okay, let's see what you got. So today, Mike Wang and the rest of 2K, because it's not just all about Mike Wang, but the entire gameplay dev team dropped a big, huge banger in everybody's lap around like nine in the morning. Now, I had prior things going on. I didn't bring my camera set up with me, so I couldn't be the first with the news. But I'm actually going to break down the news to you guys in a better form and fashion. So with all ado, let's get into it. And then, by the way, if you're not on Facebook following me, that's a problem because right now I'm going to actually go to Facebook to 2K's blog. Let's get into it. All right, guys. So currently we are on Facebook.com slash NBA 2K. This is where 2K does all their blog work, which means whenever there's info about an updated patch or a hot fix coming out or just a general blog at all, you will have to come here to Facebook in order to read it unless another outlet does the news and they come out with it hours later. So let's talk about the badges and takeover. I know that we're starting at the bottom of the article, but the reason why we're starting at the bottom of this blog is because this is where the important stuff lies for us players that play online a lot. Now, generally, as long as the gameplay gets better, everything's better. But I want to talk about this for a moment. So first and foremost, they say badges and takeover. Badges have become one of the main ways a player can set themselves apart from another. We know how important they are to the game and to the community. So one of the first things we did this dev cycle was sit down in many meetings to reimagine what badges we should have in the game and how they should work. We came away with an impressive list of around 80 badges that allow players to express different strengths in various areas of the game. We put a ton of work to ensure that each badge was valuable and unique enough to cater to just about any imaginable play style. We even added neighborhood specific badges that enhance the physicality and flashy play of the playground. Takeover returns in NBA 2K20 with more content and new features. And thanks to all the feedback from the community and yet another year of testing under our belts. We've tuned the takeover abilities to be much more balanced across positions and play styles. There's a ton of more to talk about when it comes to badges, attributes, takeover, and improvements to player builds. So look forward to more info on that soon. We are very confident that you we're very confident that you guys are going to love the direction we're taking with it. All right, guys, I'm back. And I know that you guys are like literally looking at my counter in the back. So what I did was I logged on to NBA 2K19 and I counted all the badges in the game, as well as I went back and looked at a little couple videos on like NBA 2K16, NBA 2K17, and NBA 2K19. There were a lot of badges that were took, taken out in a recent year, which was 2K18 and 2K19. But back in NBA 2K16 and 17, they had a, a ton of badges. Now, this is the problem. There's currently 61 badges in NBA 2K19. And they're saying that it's going to be AD badges in NBA 2K20. But they're bringing back neighborhood badges. I want to know, will there be 11 or more neighborhood badges brought to the game? Will they put in more personality badges? Or will there be more offensive badges and more defensive badges to overhaul all of that? Or will it be about maybe six or seven uh, park or neighborhood badges and that they'll just put in a couple personality or a couple offensive ones? Like take Pickpocket for instance, right? That's a pretty good badge. But when you put in Pickpocket with the passing lane still badge, like remember that badge? What was it called? Uh, was it called Interceptor or something like that? Like the badge where you could just get passing lanes like crazy? That badge right there was insane. So mix that badge with quick reflexes, glue hands, all that. It made defensive players insane. 
And of course, on NBA 2K19, the defense was immaculate. So if you just came in and spam and square and everything like that, those players would be able to get the ball from you no matter what you did. You know what I'm saying? Also, if you didn't play 2K like I played 2K, I noticed that there was an auto steal um, factor in NBA 2K19, where if I was just standing in a vicinity with my lockdown, I didn't have to press a button. My lockdown would take the ball out of midair without any button presses. So there were a lot of times that 2K AI system or whatever they built their game around would make my player do what they do. But let's talk about defense for a moment since we're talking about these defensive badges and the additions. I wanna to talk to you guys about the next blog portion. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so this next portion of this blog is called Read and React. It says, but don't worry, we didn't neglect the defensive end of the floor. On ball defenders will be happy to hear that we're providing more tools to help them lock down their checks as well. Internally, we've been calling this read and react defense. When guarding the ball, defensive players will see a small arrow under the ball handler indicating where they're leaning or attempting to go. The arrow shows up at different times based on the defender's abilities, modeling, and the different reaction times between a poor defender and a great one. Anticipating the ball handler's movement properly and cutting off their attack will yield much more predictable outcomes, such as stonewalling the dribbler, forcing a pickup, or causing a fumble. Fumble. Okay, thanks to the motion engine upgrade and its improved defensive footwork, as well as a greatly improved body up ride system, one on one battles now resolve in a much more predictable way showcasing the differences between attacking a flat-footed defender versus a highly skilled lockdown. Under the ball handler, you'll also notice the indicator ring change from a solid circle to broken up lines as a ball handler moves around the court and performs moves. The more broken up the circle, the more vulnerable the ball handler is to losing the ball. To further emphasize this, we retuned on ball steals to be much more predictable so for NBA 2K20, it's more important to read what the ball handler is doing and read at the right times rather than running around randomly spamming the steal button. From what I just read, that tells me that if you have a pure lockdown, you can literally see where a ball handler is going, how vulnerable they are to your steal, and if you got your badges maxed out, baby, you gonna get that steal because it's predicted to have a nice outcome. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. iPod, <clears throat> these lockdowns about to be crazy, man. I got something for y'all. For all my ball handlers out there, y'all thought I was gonna leave y'all out. Y'all thought it was gonna get a little crazy, but we do have an article portion, but it's very extensive. I'm not going to read all of it, but I will scroll down all of it so you guys can read with or without me. Let's get into it. All right, guys, the next portion of this blog is called Handles and Saws. It says ball handlers now have contextual awareness of specific situations on the court that they didn't have before. It says pick and roll wraps, split situational cuts, and backcourt versus frontcourt movement are just a few examples of the ball handler aware of his surroundings. They say that they focused on signature dribble styles, they focused on dead leg slash punches, hezzy lifts, inverts, they focused on cuts and first steps. They've also uh, focused on uh, differentiating speed. Um, they've also worked on different player builds and models like De'Aaron Fox, John Wall, DeMar DeRozan, LeBron James, Kawhi Leonard, Kobe Bryant, Tim Hardaway. Just a bunch of different added incentives to like idle dribbling and everything like that. Also, they say that they set up like players and like floor generals to have a certain way and movement to them. They say that there are 27 styles that you'll see across the league that you also have access to in the my career to create the type of ball handler you want. They say that they have a full list of styles, um, which is base, big power, fundamental, quick, slasher, shifty, and then they go into the player created mo caps that they did with uh, actual NBA players or uh, whatever counterpart that they got to mocap to mimic them, but I'm hoping that they actually uh, mocap every single player for their styles. Um, it says, being a successful ball handler is so much about rhythm and change of pace. The new system gives you many tools to do that just by using the left 
stick. What? But if you want to make the Defender look bad in the process, you're going to need some sauce. This year, they're introducing a new size of mechanic that allows you to chain standing dribbling moves together in a cleaner and more realistic way. Every move is performed one to one by flicking the pro stick, which means if chain dribbling was your thing, you was a dribble guy just by chaining together like a couple different flicks. That same dribble guy is now going to have to do them one by one, boom, 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 all that. All right. Players have full control over whether they want to lull defenders to sleep with a slow rocking crossover or pound the ball hard with a quick machine gun style crossover. All right. One big thing. It says when master, you'll be able to break off even the best on ball defenders. But when over dribbling and trying to perform the wrong moves at the wrong time, you'll see players fumbling the ball or easily getting ripped by their defenders. Now that goes back to the defensive portion of the article where if people watching you, them still, still gonna be crazy. Still, still gonna be crazy. They say that they're also giving players access to the new advanced move, including behind the back rap escapes, uh, the Luca's fake step back, the stutter chop steps, new sham guys, and even a fake sham guy, Hezzy, that Bynum pulled off in the uh, big three. Um, it says, and even before you put the ball down, triple threat offense has been expanded as well um, with a couple new shimmies, mid step overs, directional jabs, everything like that. Now, y'all know what I'm about to say, right? All my dribble guys out there that, that know they're chain dribbling, y'all are going to be fine because you'll literally get a train dribble set up from just flicking a stick where you need to flick it. You guys will be fine. People like me that aren't dribble guys. We're going to have a little bit of uh, problems, especially since I'm making a play sharp as soon as the game drop. Yeah, I said it. I'm going to be a play sharp. All right, before I get back onto the camera, I wanted to just go over a few quick things with you that are in the article as well. And I will also have this link inside the description so you can read it yourself. But they talk about the motion engine upgrade where they're talking about foot planning, authenticity, style variations, and everything like that. The whole entire redesign that they couldn't do last year that they had the ability to do this year. They also talk about uh, shot solutions and paint D. So basically they are giving the uh, defenders more animations to pull off, which is like ball grabs in midair, uh, new blocking animations, but they also will give uh, shoot solutions, which are if you do a spin layup, you know if you do a spin layup and you keep square or held, you'll be doing the same move. But what they're gonna be able to do is now, you can do a spin floater or a Euro floater. You'll be able to do more out of the gathers than you used to, but the only thing that scares me is that in this, in the time that it takes you to gather and make that decision, will it be game speed or will it be slowed down for you to make the decision, which will leave you vulnerable to shot blockers? The next thing that they uh, talked about was working off ball. So I believe that off ball jukes are going to be huge because. The way we juked in 2K19, honestly, we'll move up a little bit, like take two steps, cut back out to the three, and like, like at full sprint. And then when we do that, we shoot back to the uh, rim. They took jukes out, the, out of the game a few years ago and never put them back. So now, you know, like remember when we used to be able to push off of defenders and get space and stuff like that? You couldn't do that in the recent years. So I'm guessing that they're going to be bringing them back much more polished, much more uh, able to work, which will make the game a little bit better. Hopefully for those players that don't have any dribbles that can't set up offense for themselves it'll make things better for slashers you know what i mean stuff like that um they also talked about the ai um they talked about on the offensive side you can check out the new dynamic freelance engine you said your teammates will create intelligent off ball motion without ever having to call a play so you know 2k always say the ai is going to be beautiful and every year in my career they trash <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and put that out there. But hopefully, hopefully they have something for us. Hopefully the AI will be able to carry us a few games without us being up 20, get subbed in down 20, things of that nature. Hopefully they can keep a lead, if you know what I mean. All right, guys, uh, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoy watching. 
Uh, it took a little while to record this, um, mainly because I was actually doing homework while I was researching things and all of that. Like, I had to make sure I knew what I was talking about. But if you enjoy, make sure you hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, make sure you do so. If you are, turn on notice. Um, the major takeaways from today are definitely neighborhood park badges. Also, the new badges in the game all around 80, um, as well as takeover coming back and balancing the takeover. The defense, I, I don't, I'm scared about the defense. That's one thing I am scared of. I am scared of the defensive portion of this blog. I'm scared that lockdowns will still be insanely crazy. I feel like run protectors are gonna be so much more of a problem this year. Ball handling doesn't scare me just because of the simple fact that I'm a player that uses one to two moves to get past my defender anyway. And if I can't get to my defender, either I reset or I kick it out or I ask for a screen. But now that I'm gonna be creating this play sharp from the rip, I know that I gotta get back to dribbling and moving around the floor and knowing how to survey, you know, them backdoor cuts and popping out and stuff like that. So I'm definitely gonna be working on that ball handling with the play sharp. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I didn't want to keep you for too long, but I'm sorry if this video went over. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see y'all in the next video. Um, when did we start? Um, somebody timestamp when I actually started recording on a, on a clock. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Yeah. You can't watch this whole video without subscribing.